Hi everyone, it's Rebecca. Um, excuse my arm, it's only in the cast for another week or so, so I haven't been making videos generally due to this arm. But yeah, so today I'm gonna try and make a quick video on undercover filters. So this is a pump powered one, and I did have the impeller or the um, pump which was attached to it with an uplift tube and then it would go over the top. So this was for my first tank, the Aqua One 360, so the 28 litre. Um, you can get air power ones, I've used them before. They are, they're reasonably good. Um, so generally the filtration, you can, some do put, seem to put carbon in. This one seemed to have carbon in there, I'm not entirely sure because I haven't used it in so long. Which is a bit strange considering you need to replace that. So generally what how it works is you'd the pump would pull water through the grid out and over out and then over if you get what I mean. So the this would be covered in gravel and the gravel would provide the surface for the biological bacteria, so the biological media. And then this would go underneath. So you get an area which you would have nothing really but the only re the main reason that these are so difficult cleaning wise is because dirt lo literally like clamps get stuck under here so you just there's not much you can do regarding that it's quite uh, you just literally have to pull up the whole thing and then filter it out which is what I hate because it's you have to pull up the whole tank the other thing is the holes generally they do tend to be around this size and it doesn't really work with sand because it falls through and it doesn't really it's more a bit more compacted so it doesn't allow water to flow through so that means it does mean there's quite a few fish that aren't suitable the eel loaches like I've got in my tank they're not suitable a lot of the digging cichlids which are large enough to choke on a um, bit of gravel so, and that includes also that fish like um, goldfish aren't really suitable for it because they will choke on gravel and you can see gravel is already stuck in here from when I used it um, is there anything that digs my banjos wouldn't work in there and then I don't even think the hill streams is a good idea unless the gravel is very soft so that is the main thing there's not really much to them they're pretty simple they're work they're quite good ish i do prefer the air powered sponges but i don't really use them i prefer higher powered filters so that's just quick about the um underground foot it's up to you if you want to use it they're not i don't like them but quite a few people do um I haven't really seen them used in a long time particularly, at least in the UK. Uh, there's less surface for biological media really in these filters and they tend to be low flow especially or turnover especially if they're air powered. The pump ones are a bit better and it's also the clogging so it could build up anaerobic areas of waste underneath the mat and they're a bit more difficult to clean. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to try and talk through a few other filters and my air power filter I do when I actually, because I've got it at the new house, which because of this I haven't been able to set up any of the new tanks yet. Anyway, thank you for watching.